Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to generate publication quality image using Biovia Discovery Studio. You know, after molecular docking, we usually get two types of results. First, the docking score of the ligand molecules and the dock poses. And now, to see the interaction of the dock poses within the active site pocket or binding site of the protein molecule, we need to open it in different visualization software when we can explore the interaction and we can generate publication quality images. So in this video, I am going to use Biovia Discovery Studio and uh, first of all, I am going to download it from the website and install it in my laptop. To download the software, type in Google Biovia Discovery Studio and this is the link for downloading click here to open now you have to register for download okay uh, register uh, email id is required for registration and select your country and then accept the term and condition and then submit now the link for download is open this is for windows and this is for linux now click here to download okay so I have already downloaded the software and it is present in my download folder. So this is the setup. Double click here to install the software. Now click next, next and install. If I click here, the software will be installed and already installed in my laptop. So I am not installing it. And canceling it. Okay. Finish. So after installing a desktop icon will appear in your desktop. From here you can open the software. So double click here to open the Biovia Discovery Studio. It's now open and this is the interface of Biovia Discovery Studio Visualizer. You can open your protein and ligand molecule. Uh, to see their structure, you can edit the structure, you can generate publication quality images, you can view the different types of interaction which are present between the protein molecule and drug molecule, etc. Okay, so now I am going to open the protein molecule and ligand molecule and going to show you how to prepare the images. Now, first open your protein molecule and ligand molecule into the visualization software. For that, go to the file then open and you can choose the folder where your protein and ligand molecules are present so in this docking folder is protein and ligand so i am clicking in the aldehyde dehydrogenase 1a1 to open it click open now you can see this is the protein molecule here is another way you can directly go to the folder where the protein ligand is then right click on it and then open with by via discovery studio so the ligand molecule is also now open so this uh, this is the docked molecule the tell me certain i have docked into the active site pocket of aldehyde dehydrogenase 1a1 and after molecular docking we get these types of pores but you can see the protein molecule is not present here. It is only the pose of tell me certain. Now to see the interaction between the protein and ligand, we have to merge these two uh, structure. Okay, so for that, first go to the view, then click hierarchy. Then a bar will open. And here all the details about this molecule is present you can see this is the chain a under chain a the amino acids are present this is the first amino acid aspartate then leucine proline so all the details and also the atoms under this first amino acid is also present so you can click to locate this atom in this structure you can also edit the structure you can delete edit okay 
so this is the structure of protein molecule now go to the ligand molecule and within this bar this hierarchy right click here to copy the coordinates of this molecule and then paste this coordinate in the bar hierarchy bar of protein molecule paste here now these coordinates are present here so you can see within the active site pocket of this protein the now the ligand molecule is present now i am going to show you what are the different options to change the displaced type first of all you can see here is the different types of displaced type so these are default you can select any one of them first select the molecule protein molecule and ligand molecule then change the displaced type this is one type also all atom model this is another display style so better to uh, choose the display style manually okay manual options are also there so for protein first select protein molecule and then click here you will get several options here you can change the style of the protein molecule like this is stick model apply this is the stick model line ribbon okay flat ribbon solid tube tube and schematic click ok to select the display type for ligand molecule you can also select first ligand molecule and then in atom option you can select there are different options stick apply so now the ligand molecule display style of ligand molecule has been changed into stick its ball and stick and you can also change the size of ball and stick okay suppose here i am selecting 60 for ball and for 40 c now apply you can see the change okay and this is for cpk and polyhedral okay you can also change the color of this protein molecule and ligand molecule select the protein molecule for changing its color protein and color by c alpha okay by rainbow this is the rainbow so several options are there okay and for changing the background of this image here you can see background color is black so you can change it to white for better visualization now the background has been changed you can change the quality of the images okay and you can increase the light of this image by clicking this option and you can also change the material here the i have selected rubber okay so the structure of the protein will look like rubber then plastic metallic several options are there chalk for ligand molecule you can also choose custom color you can select any color from the there are several color option suppose i am selecting here blue so the color of the ligand molecule is now blue ball and stick changing to ball and stick 
Okay. So beta to change the display style of protein in solid driven display style. Okay. And for the ligand, I am changing it to stick. Okay. Now, if you want to see the three dimensional interaction between the protein and ligand, then first select the ligand molecule. This is the ligand molecule. Click here and then define ligand. Click here to define the ligand. Now the ligand has been selected. Okay. Now click here ligand interaction. This is for 3D interaction. If you click here, you can see the ligand molecule is present and surrounding it the amino acids which are present in the active site. These are the amino acids and these are the defined kinds of bonds, hydrophobic interaction, hydrogen bond. Okay, so you can label these bonds, amino acid, and the atoms of ligand molecules. For labeling, right click here and click label. Add. Now, if you want to label the amino acid, select the amino acid and attribute as attribute select three letter and id okay that means the name of the amino acid in three letter and their number click here to apply and you can change the color of this label i am changing it to brown apply and you can change this font uh, font and font size okay if you want to present the bond distances then click here show distances so you can see the bond length of different bonds 5.39 for this bond 3.96 for this bond and these bonds have been shown in different colors for hydrogen bond it is usually shown in green color and for other hydrophobic interaction is purple or pink color okay so this is three dimensional interaction you can further modify it. One of the best feature of Biovia Discovery Studio is uh, its 2D diagram. So click here to visualize the 2D diagram. If I click here, you can see this is the 2D diagram. Okay. And you can also change the display style of this 2D diagram. The font and font size, you can change it. And you can also change the ligand display style. Okay. Ball size, I have decreased the ball size. And this is the stick model. This model. Okay. This is for interaction. All the interactions have been shown here. Okay and you can see the color for different types of bonds this is for line this is for big okay yes this is 2d diagram so interactions are beta displayed here with all types of bonds and you can also display the bond length okay Click here, show distance. Now the bond lengths are also have been displayed here. And you can save these images. First go to the file and click here, save as. Now select the folder. Here I am selecting desktop and give it a name and save it as image file okay click save now the change the width and height is better to 
select as 4000 okay because it's the highest resolution 4000 click ok now the image will be saved in desktop you can see the two dimensional interaction diagram between the aldehyde dehydrogenase a and tetracycline and now you can give surface to this amino acid okay so for that select here aromatic you can see this is the aromatic surface this is the active site pocket of the enzyme and this is the surface aromatic surface we can also display other surface like hydrogen bond so the area where the hydrogen bond donors and acceptors are present will be displayed in green and pink color okay if you want to display the hydrophobic area so click here so this is the hydrophobicity so blue regions are more hydrophilic and these gray regions are hydrophobic area if you want to display the surface of whole protein then first of all you have to select the protein molecule then go to structure surface add and several options are there for adding surface like solvent pwb solid wire mesh so i am selecting here solid solvent and wire mesh or solid okay then okay You can see the surface of the protein molecule. It is displayed hydrophobic surface. These regions are hydrophobic, these regions are hydrophobic. And this is the active site pocket where the ligand molecule is present. So, for displaying surface, several options are there. Again, structure, surface, add, wire mesh. I am selecting now wire mesh. This is the wire mesh display. But the hydrophobic surface is displaying. So to change it, add or remove options is there. Color by hydrophobicity. You can change it to other like parent color. Okay. So it's up to you. What do we, we actually want to display? It's up on you. I am just showing the different types of options. So you can explore this option and generate your publication quality image as you want. You can also remove the surface from here. Okay. Now it is present in its original form. So again, I am saving this image. Save as select image file. Desktop. Save. Increase the dimension. So image has been saved here. So this is the image. So you can change the color, edit the structure, everything you can done and it's up on you. Okay. You have to explore this by via Discovery Studio Visualizer and you have to explore the option to generate your publication quality. So that's all for today's tutorial. Thank you.